Okay everyone, so here we go. We're on the Varla Pegasus. This is going to be an 800 kilometer update. What has gone wrong with the scooter? What I like about it still? And what I would really love improved. But the purpose of this video is actually to do a range test on this distance to travel, 17 kilometers. We are fully charged also. We are at the maximum 55 volts. So if you did actually miss out on the previous two videos I done, one was the first impressions video and the other one was the pros and cons video. So do definitely have a look out for them. So we're going to be really pushing the scooter today. Weather, it's quite cold, no wind. We're going to be going through a few hills also. So we do see many people on the Facebook groups saying that solids are very uncomfortable and I have been on a couple of solid wheeled scooters and yes most of them are very uncomfortable and they will rattle the teeth out of your head but on the Varla Pegasus the tires are three inch wide and you have front suspension and you have that rear suspension which definitely soaks up everything nicely and it, it's very comfortable I must say and I've been really pushing this scooter the past month and a half I've been doing 35, 36 kilometers daily on this in all types of weather and I have actually waterproofed the scooter so if you would like to see how I have done that do comment below and I'll just post a quick video on how I have done that now by waterproofing I don't mean it's 100% you can bring it through a swimming pool I mean that I've closed off most of the gaps where the cables are entering the body and I've had no issues yet. I have used a couple of different methods, not just silicone alone. I also actually do want to talk about the P settings on the Varla Pegasus. Most people have been reporting the same speed as me, about 42 kilometers an hour, top speed. Other people have been reporting the 45 km hour top speed and a few other people, I'm not sure if it's correct or not, have said that they've gotten around nearly 50 km an hour on this. Now I do know that on one of the P settings in particular, the motor magnets, on the motor magnets if you lower the P setting value on the motor magnets it will increase the speed apparently. I have not done that, I don't know if I plan on doing that. I am happy though with that 42 km hour speed. It's more than comfortable enough. Plus you have, I suppose, the range to consider. The higher the speed, the less of the range you're going to get out of the scooter. So that's the purpose of this video. It's held up pretty well. So let's have a talk about what I would really like to see improved on the Varla Pegasus. Okay, so let's address a few things here. We have the solids. Now I know I just said the solids are great on this, which they are. But for example, it doesn't come across on camera here. But when you do hit a pothole, or when you do like the shores here on the ground, for example, when it's wet, it can easily slip out under you. The electric scooter can easily do that because of those solids. So please do be careful. Of course you feel the bumps going through your body, but they're nowhere near as bad as the easy way electric scooters that I reviewed. It definitely has more comfort than that one. There is obviously, of course, I have you guys hooked up. There is a discount code right below if you want to get one of these Pegasus. Okay, so back to what I don't like about this scooter. For some reason, the brakes are hard to get replaced. They're in such a funny position and you can't replace them as far as I'm aware with the semi-hydraulic X-Tech brakes. I think you will need some sort of an additional bracket. So if I do actually find out a solution for that, I will of course do a video on it. But the brakes are just standard mechanical disc brakes I would really, like this scooter would feel so much better with a semi-hydraulic brake at least but sometimes you just have to deal with these small things I am constantly having to adjust the brakes 
every week or so because the pads are wearing down and this is another thing I don't like about the electric scooter it does not have regenerative braking which is a very which is it's a pity because most electric scooters these days have regenerative braking to save on those pads and to push power back into the battery why it doesn't have it I don't know it would have been a really good selling point for the electric scooter so I'd like to think the next product Varla make something similar to this spec would have that regenerative braking so let's talk about what I like about this electric scooter over 800 kilometers now let me have a look yes we are at 810 kilometers that's a month and a half of riding this hard I'm talking full speed every single day I'm talking going on really bad roads, rain, wind, you name it, it's been through it and it's held up amazingly well. The only thing that I've had to kind of adjust is of course the few screws underneath the deck, the brakes like what I mentioned, the stem seems to be pretty rock solid, haven't really had an issue with that although yesterday I did have a creaking coming from the stem, a really small creaking. So I just put some silicone spray there to lube up that area and I'm going to tighten the stem but it seems to be absolutely perfect now. By the way, I'm curious to know what accessories do you have for your electric scooter? I'm always looking out for new cool accessories for the scooters. You can see my mirror here. It's okay. But the problem with it is because the mirror is at such a tight angle to the handlebars you can only see a small bit behind you because your arm is actually blocking most of the mirror so what I do I just put my arm out a bit like this and I can see behind me no problem or you can tuck your arm in so it's quite handy if you're on a road like this turning the corner and you want to see what is exactly behind you because you never know by the way if you did miss out on my recent videos about expenses that you will face after getting on an electric scooter and also the 12 tools and accessories you must have if you have an electric scooter they're going to be shown at the end of this video if you're still here in the video do give it a like and subscribe if you love this type of content so another good point about the Pegasus is the speed it's in such a sweet area and as the battery drops and drops the speed is actually generally maintained so we're going to see at the end of this video what we're clocking at so far we're on 39 40 kilometers an hour right now and we're a few kilometers into the journey so we're going to see what speed we're at as we come towards the end and for traffic like this, having an electric scooter, you're not sitting in traffic, you're not burning fuel, you're saving an absolute fortune. You feel much more free because since last year, I've kind of gotten to like my own space. Instead of taking public transport, I'll only take public transport if there's a tornado out. Otherwise, I'm going to be on my electric scooter. Exactly, this is why the scooter is great. You can just go in and out of traffic like this and not have to worry stuck in a traffic jam. I'm just going to show you here for an example. When I always turn this corner, you need to take it a bit wide because of the solids. You need to just take it nice and wide like this. Last thing you want to do is take something really tight because the scooter might slip out from underneath you. We have a hill here. The scooter always performs well going up here. We're at 39 now and we're about to hit the hill so let's see what the speed is like. And there's also a really another steep hill up here and we'll see what the speed drops to. So we're only after dropping a kilometre, 38 kilometres now. It, it, it's so amazing, I was so surprised with this electric scooter. And to be honest, I think it's worth every penny. I really do. At the start it was because of the solids. I was kind of a bit okay, let's see how well it holds up over time. But because I'm at 800 kilometers now and there hasn't been one real single issue, 
I can't fault it at all to be honest. It's definitely a great scooter and when you're at traffic lights like this, you can step off easily because the deck is nice and low to the ground. You don't have to worry about having a big massive deck to stand on to at a, at a set of traffic lights like this. You can just pull off very easily. If you have any questions, please do post them below and I'll absolutely reply, I reply to every single comment on the channel, whether good or bad. And don't forget to join my Facebook group that's grown quite well. And that's where you can help other people, ask any questions and we can all help out each other. So this is the hill I was telling you about. We're at 37 right now and we're already starting to crawl. The hill gets a lot steeper. 36. Still going strong. 37. Speed has been maintained extremely well. Here's this really steep part now. It doesn't come across on camera, but it is 35. Forty-five, forty-six. There we go. Brilliant. What more could you want? Woo I can't wait on the riding season to come back. When it's warm out, you can enjoy. You don't have to gear up so much. But I'm definitely not one of them people that would ride it out for the summer and then leave the scooter for the winter because where I live, we don't have a lot of snow. We just have a lot of cold, which does obviously affect the battery. So we do need to take that into account. So we're about halfway in now. And I'm going to do a zero start. There's a really steep hill up here. A zero start and see what the scooter's like. Speed has been maintained, 38. I'm going to have a look at the voltage now also and see what it's like. I do want to actually address something in a future video. A couple of weeks back, actually on Christmas Eve, a car similar to this car that nearly pulled out in front of me, hit me in the cycle lane. And I was actually on the Varla Pegasus. And I went straight into the door of the car. He pulled into my lane. He didn't look in his mirror. And my whole body and the scooter went in at about 30 kilometer speed, give or take. And the guy just said he was sorry. There was no damage to the scooter, but if there would have been, he would have been paying to repair this. But the Varla Pegasus went straight into the door, left a small dent on the door, but that was about it. So there wasn't, you know, nobody injured. Everybody was okay. The first thing I checked actually was the electric scooter, funny enough. But I had all the body protection on me. And a lot of people would say it's too much wearing all the body protection but that day it did save me i didn't really feel anything thank god so here is the hill right now we'll do a zero start as well and then we'll check the voltage when we get to the bridge just up here okay so this is the hill here right in front of me and I'm going to check the voltage. We're at 49.6 volts. So let's have a look. This, this hill here is around 15, 20 degrees. Not a problem. Up we go. And then we also have another steep part here. We'll do a zero start here. Let's go. 
What I like about this scooter is that it has a nice gradual increase in acceleration and the motors are really nice, not noisy at all. Okay, let's continue on. I'm going to just play some music here. You can hear the brakes, they're squeaking away. Even after cleaning them, you're still going to get a lot of squeaking and I'm going to have to change the pads eventually. Okay, so enjoy some music now and then we'll have a look at the voltage and the speed as we come to the end of this.
if you're still in the video at this point thank you <laughs> i know range test videos are not the most exciting but i think i know this is not a full range test video but it can give you an idea because of course you have electric scooter companies claiming crazy range when it's just not the case it could be half of the claimed range my body weight i do weigh with all of the gear right now today i say i weigh about 84 to 85 kilos give or take because i have all the camera equipment with me and the backpack and everything else okay let's see what top speed we get considering we're after eating a lot of the battery top speed at this point 36 37 kilometers an hour so we only in reality lost three to five kilometer per hour in the top speed part which is pretty impressive we're near the end point now and um, do bear in mind my weight bear in mind the temperature that's outside right now but at around five degrees five four degrees but there is no wind out all right guys so we're about to stop now let me just pull over here let's just have a look okay let's stop the scooter let's see what our violet pegasus has eaten battery wise okay so we're balancing out there started with 55 volts ending on 47.3 volts that's a 17 kilometer distance guys if you have stuck around till the end of this video thank you don't forget to smash that like button you can click on the videos of this that i've done already right now and i'll talk to you in the next video